How's it going guys? My name is Joe Vieira with the Musicians Lounge. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss the next video because I'm always releasing videos here every week here on the channel. Today I'm showing you uh, a software that was just added to the Line 6 Pod Express. Yes, they have an edit software for your computer to tweak your Line 6 Pod Express stomp box which is this guy right here now i've been using this the way you know the way it is now <laughs> before the the uh software i haven't even touched the software yet but we're going to open that up today and we're going to explore it together here on the channel but this is the line six pod express i did a demo unboxing video and if you would like to check that out click on the card above and it'll bring you to that and then come back over here because this video will make more sense because the, the, um, the software is linked to this. And that is a really good addition by Line 6. And I guess they, all the people were giving them feedback on it, asking them to release a software to tweak all the perimeters on this box. And usually Line 6 will come out with one every time at the time of release. Well, at the time of this release, um, it, it didn't have one. Now it does, and we're gonna explore that today. So follow me to my computer. We're gonna open it up together, and we're gonna check how easy it is to use because I did see people use it already, and it's it's pretty cool, actually. So let's go check it out. Okay, guys, so I'm sitting here um, on my desktop, and I got the uh, Line 6 Pod Express editor opened up, and you can see everything right there. Um, this is really cool, guys. Uh, Let's see what else we got here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna talk about what we see here on the screen. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory, so um, I think this is actually gonna be easy um, from the looks of this, because everything's color-coded, uh, just like it is on the box here. Uh, and everything's linked together. You got the Line 6 Pod Express right here on the table, and you got the software on the screen, and everything is pretty much dialed in. Uh, so let me see if I turn one of these knobs. Let me see what happens here. Oh, so I, I'm on the, uh, the overdrive section and look, so it's, it works flawlessly. That's for sure. That's yeah, pretty smooth. Okay. All right. So let's go through each one of these. So you got your overdrive section. You got a drop down box here. You click on that, I guess. Boost, overdrive, distortion, fuzz. So bear with me, guys. This is the first time I'm using this. Um, then you got your mod section, which is chorus, flanger. You got a phaser and tremolo. You got your amp section over here. Here's a drop down box here. You click on the drop arrow and you got all these different amps. Um, and then there's your controls like you would see on an amplifier. Your drive, bass, mid, treble, presence, and channel volume, master. And all these other controls here, which I'm not going to mess with. And here's your cab drop down. Your cabs are right here. You got 110, 112, 212, and you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 412 cabs. You got the V, the uh, Uber V30, the Greenback, the XXL V30, and the Cali V30. And then you got the 110 Princess the US, and then the US Deluxe, and the Match H30. And then over here, delay section analog, digital, tape, pong, and a looper. Don't forget, you got a looper here. And then you have your spring, uh, your reverb section, which the first one I see is reverb spring. Um, there it is, hall, plate, and space, which is my favorite. This is my favorite one, the space one. Uh, I really like that. Uh, so everything is color-coded and everything is color-coded on the box itself. So it's the same thing, same identical thing. But what I like about having this editor is it makes it so much easier to control everything and you got your noise gate I can see right there um, you can see the noise gates it's this yellow section here um, and then it looks like you have like a drop no oh, you can choose stuff from here let me see here um, okay so oh, it's, oh it goes to preset all right let me go back to clean okay so um, yeah everything's color-coded uh, everything looks really good um, I really like this layout it's self-explanatory I do see a drop 
or a arrow pointing to left here. I don't know what this is. Let's click on it, find out. Oh, it makes it bigger. That's cool. Let's go there. All right, so as you know, you have seven presets inside the, the, the Pod Express itself, okay? And it shows them right here on the in the software. Um, then you have your new presets, which I think you can copy, save, whatever. Um, it has a copy menu here. So I wonder if you can copy, it looks like you can copy and paste things right on here. So uh, let's see if this is working, first of all. <laughs> so we're on clean preset right now. Let's check it out. That's clean. <clears throat> and then we got special. Chime. Sounds pretty good. Dynamic. Crunch. Heavy. Lead. And there's the, all the seven right there. So yeah, this is cool. All right, so I'm gonna go to clean and I'm gonna mess with this for a second. Add a little boost. Let's see if we can get a boost in here. And there it is. So everything works flaw it works flawlessly. And then um, got your new presets over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new preset. And let's check it out. All right. So I'm going to pick the special. Or I don't know. I wonder if I should go with the special. Let's see. Special. <laughs> Let's add some gain to this. I'm in the gain section, add that booster. Turn up the gain. Let's see what that sounds like with a different amp. Let's try the chime. Sounds pretty good. I'm gonna keep it with the chime. And let's go with the... Uh, cab section and let's pick the 110 there's the 112 deluxe 212 did uh 212 match h3 Okay, so we're gonna add a delay, tape, and that's way too much feedback. Let's try to lower that down a little bit. Okay, so we got it lower. Still a lot, let's turn that down a little bit. Sync mode, what is this? Oh, okay. All right, let's go with the di digital delay. I actually like the, the uh, digital. <laughs> wow, this sounds amazing on the headphones. Turn the feedback. Okay, now let's add a little reverb. Let's try hall.
change that boost. Let's try overdrive. Distortion. Let's go back to the boost. I like the booster. All right, let's uh, turn this up a little bit. Sounds pretty good. Now let's go to the mod section. See how this works. Let's try course. Let's try the phaser. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's turn that feedback down on the uh, delay a little bit. Okay, uh, let's try to turn out the, the gain. <laughs> That sounds badass. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. And let's turn the mix down on the phaser a little bit, see how that sounds. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the boost section. Now, I'm going to see if turning this knob on the actual pedal itself. Let's see. Okay, see, I can turn the gain up. And it's going to go to the next phase. Let's see. Okay, let's try that. Let's pick another delay. Let's try analog. Sounds good. Ping pong <laughs> delay. Turn the feedback down a little bit. Turn the mix down. Okay, let's try a different reverb plate. Space. Let's go back to Hall again. Spring. Okay, so if I want to save this, let's see, let's try that and see if, how this works. Okay, so I'm going to save. And it should, okay, let's, okay, so I still have the sound. Let's go to a different preset. The active preset has unsaved. Would you like to discard it? No. Let's go back over here. It's still there. Let's see if I can save it over here. I think it saved it. All right, so. All right, so there's nothing. Now if I click on this one, there it is. All right, let's try a heavy. So I'm on the heavy side. All right, so now I'm gonna pick a different cab. Let's try a different cab. It's on, currently it's on the 412 XXL V30. So we're gonna go with this one. Let's try this one. Uber V30. Let's 
That sounds pretty good. Let's go to this cab right here, the Cali V30. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> um. I like the XXL. Let's add a little reverb to that. Like a spring, maybe. Let's try a tape delay. That sounds pretty good. I like to save that one. So let me see if I can save that one as well. Um, okay, so let's try saving it. All right, and let's see, I'm gonna save it. The operation will overwrite the preset. Would you like to continue? Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> This one. Oh, it's definitely changed. Go back to this one where, where I saved it to. Let's put nine on the reverb receiver. feedback try this one more time <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. I mean, this is really cool. Um, I like the fact that you can hit this arrow here on the top left corner and it widens it up. You don't have that menu screen or your preset screen right here showing up. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it, it looks pretty, I, I mean, it's self-explanatory. It's pretty easy to use. And I think there's like a cloud. What's this? I don't know what that is. Oh, you can update it. Um, global settings and I'm not gonna get into that but anyways I just wanted to show you the overall structure of this thing and I got I gotta say um, it, it's pretty amazing guys I really like this I'm so glad that line 6 uh, introduced the uh, new editor the editing software for the pod Express because the pod Express pedal is really good to use guys um, it's so easy and it's so compact and the simplicity of it it's just it's a good pedal for especially for beginners too so hey if you guys you beginners out there looking for something to where you can wear headphones or you can hook it up you know to uh, uh, your recording software if you don't have an amp you can actually use this to record guys so <laughs> it doesn't get any easier than that so that concludes this video for today so hope you guys enjoy this video this is the line 6 pod express 
software editing tool that you can use right now. You can download it from the Line 6 uh, website. Make sure that you do update everything. Um, you know, you gotta make sure you do that first and then do everything. Download the software. As soon as you plug in the cable into the back of the unit, which is the USB cable right there, straight into my desktop, it, it brought it right up and then you just follow the steps. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will see you on the next video. Peace and love to you. Stay on that musical journey. Peace.